What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the EU4 Super States AI only battle. There's one war going on if we exclude Carolina's attempt at getting into uh, Mexico, but um, there's one big war going on and it's this one still. Texas, Florida, Oklahoma and Wyoming against Nebraska, Indiana, Montana and someone else is in this war, are they not? Oh no, it's just 4v3. The war... Oh no, someone just got separate pieced. Sorry. Someone did just get set. Wisconsin just got separate pieced. And I believe... Yeah, just as I was doing something at the start of the video. I don't think they lost anything. I think they just probably lost the alliances, maybe. Yeah, it looks like that. They seem to be okay. Wait. Guaranteeing independence of North Dakota. That's probably not the smartest move. But yeah. Okay, well, Wisconsin was keeping that team just about alive. We'll probably now see Wyoming grab a lot of Montana... There's also a Canadian war going on. Alberta against Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Nevada's in there as well. Um, but yeah, is Nevada here? Oh, they're retreating right now. Alberta is pretty strong. And actually, to be fair, Saskatchewan and Manitoba have got a 29 stack, so they need to be careful, Alberta. Um, but yeah, this is pretty big. The war is Wyoming for Nebraska. But obviously Montana's in it, so we might see them grow quite a bit if they win. And they should win. Because Texas and Florida are just throwing their massive stacks around. Doing a job. Um, they've obviously, yeah, they're both up here. So they obviously just finished off Wisconsin. But it looks like maybe they can't get home now. Oh, no, there you go. Now they've... Wait, is that war over? No, someone else got separate pieced. Montana, Nebraska. Wait. Some... Indiana just got separate pieced, I believe. Unless... Wait, no, they're on the same side, aren't they? No, yeah, Indiana must have just got separate pieced as well. They were in it too. So, yeah, there we go. That's the end of that one. New York, have you, New York still hasn't got their army back, and they're suffering a lot of attrition in the winter. That's not great. We'll see how that goes for them, if they can get it back. Protestant zealots there for Missouri to deal with. That's That sucks for you guys. Oh. Oh, yeah, who was that? Because you're not at war with anybody who has a navy. Al oh, Alberta's now at war with California, too. Okay, never mind. California... Wait, no, California against Alberta. Yeah, that's just straight up. Okay, California and Nevada finally working together. Uh, they, I think they were, like, right at the start of the campaign. They had a big alliance. It was going well for them. That's how Nevada got so big. But now, yeah, this is probably game over for Alberta. It just depends if Nevada stick in the war long enough to... Um, well, Alberta actually attacked, but if, they, if these guys will stay in it long enough for California to f get up there, wreck stuff, it should... Should be a win. We could see a giant Saskatchewan emerge. And we'll probably see a lot. I don't know why California have attacked here. I mean, they can take this stuff, but it's going to look gross. Because Washington is still here. A couple of provinces. Idaho is still here as well. Just one province minor there. Not, not a good time for them. Nebraska's still in this war. Florida. Yeah, it's still Nebraska and Montana. They're not... Oh, yeah, Nebraska's going to go pretty soon. And then Montana will probably go too. Probably just probably leave Montana alone. Who is this? Oh, that's Nebraska in Florida. Okay, quick look over here. Hungary, what have you done? Why is your font upside down and sideways? Does it, really? <laughs> it needs, you have a lot of land still. Either way, Aragon is basically now just Naples, of course. Poland is definitely looking smaller, but like, ooh, who is this? Ryazan is now brave enough to attack Muscovy. Jeez, it's not going well for them, is it? The Ottomans are big, Ming is huge. Great powers, Carolina and New York are still on the list. They've fallen to 7th and 8th, mainly because all the others have now embraced the institution. Maybe these guys just have a ton of money. Maybe that's what it is. That's why they were doing so well on that. Oh, and there we go. Wyoming took parts of Montana and Nebraska. I don't think Texas... I think Texas already had this, so they didn't grow anything. And that war is now over. Fully over. Yep, it is. Florida's alliances. That's insane. Carolina need to watch out, though. Um, yeah, so Wyoming just grew quite a bit. We've got a small Nebraska. Montana lost a bit too. And yep, California's up here with Nevada just tearing Alberta apart now. We'll prob oh, if, the if the borders go like this and they take everything, it'll be so gross. I doubt that can happen. I imagine Alberta's pretty... It's going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, it's going to take quite a few wars to take everything. But yeah, that'll be pretty bad for Alberta. They were finally getting it together. It looked like they were going to finish off Alaska again, but then California, that's just a slap in the face. If Nevada wasn't hard enough, California bringing in about 50,000 troops really didn't help their, help their case. Other than that, everyone's at peace, and there you go. There was a peace deal up here. 
nothing happened. Nevada didn't take in. Well, Nevada couldn't have taken anything, but Saskatchewan. Oh no, Saskatchewan took this row of provinces back from Alberta. That's what happened. Manitoba didn't get anything. Not that we expect them to. And yeah, that means California is now free to basically cherry pick whatever they want because there's not really anything left. It's going to be pretty easy, pretty easy to fight through. So Wisconsin, they made it out of that war. Pretty, they got pretty lucky. They still have a 40 stack. They're still pretty big in this region, which is cool to see. They're allied with West Virginia. That's not a smart move. They're not going to be around for very long, really, in the long run. Indiana, again, is that the best? They're not the best to have. And Manitoba, I mean, they're okay, but they're not, they're not this. This is something else. And New York as well have Florida. Oh, they have Manitoba, so maybe there's a bit of mutual there between Wisconsin and New York. See how long that lasts. Ontario have got Missouri and Ohio. Texas have got Wyoming, Florida, and a couple of the bigger Mexican states, which is pretty cool. Nevada, who do you have? Missouri, Saskatchewan, Alberta, you have a war with California. California only have Manitoba, so Manitoba are probably keeping some of the bigger states apart at the moment, which is pretty cool. Wyoming have Texas and Florida, which obviously we just saw them use pretty well to their advantage. French Columbia is now a colonial nation. There you go. 1% liberty desire. Breton Brazil has got, what, 34.6%. Dang, they're adding more to it down here. Okay, and Britain is now down here, probably... British Banda Oriental. I imagine this will go on to be La Plata. Britain with the Falkland Islands. What else is going on here? Britain down here. Trinidad and Tobago. French Barbados. Who is this? Carolina getting the Panama Canal. It's Ca Carolina are the only ones colonizing right now. I don't know how to feel about that. They did get kicked out of Mexico altogether. But they have the Bahamas. So, you know, or Belize even. They, they do have the Bahamas. And now they've got the Panama Canal. Not sure how long that might lead to our first war between a state and a European, not including Puerto Rico. But um, yeah, France versus Carolina, that could pop up at some point, which would be interesting. Are the Dutch doing their weird thing over here yet? No. Well, they're not. I imagine they're not the Dutch at the moment. What are they? They are. Ugh, they're this. Holland is there, though. No sign of a Netherlands just yet, though. See, California, they're still winning, but they're not taking anything just yet. Who is this? Oh, there's a war. There is a war in Florida. Oh, damn. Okay, Florida, Texas, and New York versus Ontario and Ohio. Well, Ohio came down to Florida, which was a mistake. Well, no, not really, because Texas has gone away. Texas is over here, and Florida's not... Wait, what is Carolina doing here? Why is your 22 stack there? I don't know. Car that they have a very similar flag to the Texan flag. It's very confusing. But yeah, New York. I mean, this is probably just the quickest way for them to get their troops back. Um, I don't know where their army is. It's over here now. But yeah, New York should grab a big chunk of Ontario. They've been quiet for a while, New York. And they're also going to probably take out Ohio. So Florida and Texas only really need to just make sure their own stuff doesn't get taken. That's kind of all they need to do. And they'll be fine. Oh, California. There you go. That is the peace deal. They took all of this. I don't know if Washington had this and I was just ignoring it or whether it's just been given back to them. But there you go, they have that now. And Alberta, pretty small. Oh, and Yukon was released. Although it's hard to tell because they're a very similar colour. But yeah, that sucks for Alberta. They have a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, they lost him. <laughs> I jinxed them there, didn't I? You're guaranteeing the independence of Montana. Oh, they'll be alright for now. Don't worry about them. They'll be safe. So, New York, what are you looking like for war score? Flor oh, this is a Floridan war against Ohio. Oh, Ontario's already been separate pieced for nothing. Okay. Florida just straight up attacked Ohio. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Where where did Ohio's army go? It's, it's this one here. There's not much left of it. This isn't good for them. Texas is sieging this out with a huge stack as well. So that should probably be the end of Ohio. Will they be able to do it? Could they take it all, Florida? They could take it all. 99% war, 99 war score is what they'd need, or 97% is what they'd need. I believe they have more than that, although I think the war is now over. The war is over. Florida took two provinces, I think. Yeah, two provinces. So Ohio's a bit smaller. I think, yeah, Ontario just got, got out of it. They lost their alliances, but they didn't lose any land to New York, at least. I don't think so, anyway. Maybe they... 
No, I don't think they did. I think they had that before. There you go. Florida growing a little bit. So, we'll see. They obviously want to compete with Texas. They're probably a bit scared too. But now, yep, they all border each other. New York, Carolina, Florida. Well, Wis you could go around in like the powers. Start with Wisconsin, go to New York, Carolina, Florida, Texas. And then skip Nevada and California is probably the next power. Because Nevada is strong. They've caused California problems. But yeah, there's now twice as many soldiers for California. I don't know where they... I think California were just slacking a little bit. Because they're out here. They're powerful. But they don't have to worry about another power like Texas, Florida, Carolina, New York, Wisconsin, they all have to worry about each other, but not here. Yeah, that was impressive, that was, that's, that's a scary prospect that those two can go to war with each other. And now Wisconsin, Indiana, West Virginia, who actually grew a little bit out of Ohio, I see. So is there a bigger light green blob? Yep, they got some stuff given to them. There you go, so West Virginia's a little bit bigger. I feel like they're who I picked at the start, I think it was Virginia somebody, I might be wrong. Oh no, I think it was, yeah, it was it was somebody like that, but I can't remember now, it doesn't matter. Wisconsin, and I think there's another one as well. So Ontario in trouble here. In trouble, Indiana, yep, Indiana, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Manitoba, Ontario. They were doing okay back at the start, but Wisconsin have a 40 stack. They should find this pretty easily. So Canada can be formed, I've discovered. So I would imagine the US could also be, dis be formed, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, Texas is in a war. Texas, holy, whoa, okay, this is, there's two separate wars, okay, that's, Ch Chihuahua are in a war with Wyoming and Texas, Carolina are in a war with Texas, Florida, and New York, Woo! I said it was coming, I saw it coming, Florida, New York, Texas, Florida are going in right now, they're declaring all of these wars, it's not Texas and New York, up against Carolina, they've already got 13 war score, this is going to be big. Sorry anyone rooting for Carolina. Texas and Wyoming, though, are also in a war with Chihuahua. Chihuahua are pretty strong, so don't count them out. Wisconsin has already got 59 war score in their war. They have the three wars going on right now. So let's see. Ontario should lose a lot to Wisconsin, which will be interesting to see, because I feel like these guys could have something. Hang on. They not that much. Florida. There's, there's a slight chance of a coalition. The problem is, obviously, the people that matter won't join New York, Texas, and co. Wait, Ontario? Oh, okay, they made it to West Virginia. It's not going to last for too long. New York's already up here in Northern Carolina. It's going to be a battle. Let's watch this. I mean, New York should win. But then there's another New York stack right there. And Flor Texas is here, which is probably not the smart... Texas, how are you doing this? Oh, Wyoming and your other stack is here. Making Chihuahua's life a little bit hard. Obviously, they Texas could probably call in these two as well. If, they, if it does get, they start to struggle. So they're probably fine. Um, Florida's over here, sieging out the random Carolina provinces, which I would appreciate if Florida took them, as much as I don't want to root for Carolina to die. It's probably going to happen anyway, so what does it matter? I wonder if they'll give away any of their colonial stuff. That'd be pretty interesting. Obviously, they're not going to lose too much. Like, these provinces are worth quite a fair bit. I mean, yeah, you'd need to four whole wars of 100%, plus 14% more on top of that, in a fifth war, to take everything. It's going to take a while. But yeah, I'm sure Florida are trying to get on that great powers list. New York are now the only one on it. Seventh place. Not so good. Up oh, Quebec. Okay, Wisconsin grew. They are huge now, Wisconsin. Ontario still around in small blobs. Two provinces, to be exact. Quebec got a lot more back. So Quebec is truly back. But yeah, Wisconsin took quite a bit there. If they can keep expanding without bothering while, while this is going on, maybe, maybe there's still hope. So someone unexpected to win because I think New York Florida Texas and California they were like the four at the start of the game you thought it might, it's going to be one of those four they were like the obvious four winners I feel Carolina have surprised us and done well Nevada Alberta have had their times Missouri aren't so strong anymore and they're in such a tough spot in the middle of the map like that makes it hard anyway Wisconsin on the other hand that is a real surprise they have slowly grown to like this huge blob which is quite impressive. Same for Missouri, but they've obviously been dying recently. Wow, Texas. What is your war score right now, Florida? 73. Dang. Okay, and I think Texas... No, Texas is still fighting this war. Um, They've got plus 20 in this one. But I don't think they're really trying right now. This is going to be a major, major deal. New York aren't giving up this stuff in the north. They're not stupid. Okay, the war's over. 
Florida definitely just grew a little bit. Yep, they took some of these. Pro they took the random provinces and some of these southern ones. So that's pretty big for them. And we also see New York didn't get anything, as far as I'm aware. But I believe, yeah, Delaware has grown. And the District of Columbia is back again. Third time. Third time we've met them in this campaign. But that's going to be it for this video. Ending with a huge war. Texas, I think, just got out of their other war as well. Oh, no, they're winning. It's just not occupied anything. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, it'd be awesome if you leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.